Hello, hello everybody, it's Derek Freeze, and today I have this Duracrest box fan. I don't have an idea of when this was made, I'm going to guess 70s. Um, this is a relabel of a uh, Hunter EXL, so this is made by Hunter. Um, it's also pretty easy to tell, it has this seven wing blade with this really cool jet turbine hub. I think these look like jet motors or jet turbines or whatever. Um, but I picked this up at a thrift store uh, almost two years ago. I made a video of it um, about two years ago. It'd be about one or so. I think I filmed it. I know I had. I know I was getting Christmas stuff around out around that time. So I'm gonna guess late November. Or you know it wouldn't be. I think it would be November. I don't know. Whatever month comes after October and comes before October. I mean de September. Or yeah, but here's the fan. It's a two-speed. Back off. Has the labeling on both sides. Center brace. Um, it has like this stamped steel motor. Um, it's a Westinghouse motor. Um, I thought my home crest had this motor, but um, it apparently had a uh, General Electric export. Um, or most commonly known as the uh, blow-up motor, fireball motor, or whatever collectors want to call it. Um, so, get into this. I think it should be around mid to early 70s. It's avocado green. Two-speed. Sadly, the sticker on it's a bit knackered. Yeah, it shows up on the camera. Handle's kind of pushed forward a little bit. It's not kind of like in the center of the fan, which is very strange. Um, and also, like, the only place, like, if you were to install this in the window, could be, the knob would kind of get in the way. Because I've used this, when I first got it, I used it in the window a little bit. I might use it in the window some more, I'm not sure yet, but it's definitely an interesting piece. Um, in my early years of collecting, I saw a video on YouTube of one of these that was uploaded by... Bruno Show 124, and after watching that video, I really wanted to find one of these, and I was never expecting to find one. Um, eventually, later on, um, about a year or so ago, um, another person picked up one. I don't know who it was, but um, theirs had a stand, I think it was a chrome stand, which I don't know if it was original or not. I'll have to go back. Um, fight care enough about it um, when editing this so it's not too late or an inconvenient time I will link that video in the describe as well as uh, uh, Bruno Show's video if I also care about it um, but we'll fire this up there's a little something underneath the uh, knob I think and get the knob off fire it up on low Now, out of all my plastic blade box fans, this one definitely has the quietest flow speed. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but it's moving a good amount of air on this speed. This fan is very impressive. speed and it really picks up the speed i forgot how powerful this is i'd like to compare this to a liquid or something at some point it has a really nice sound to it with the seven wing blade it's very high pitched but it also sounds very beastly Normally I put the camera off to the one side, but I couldn't fit the fan in the whole frame. I did do a video of, of a 20 inch box fan on this bench once, and it was like kind of one of the more modern, cheaper fans. So that one fit a lot nicely. These ones, they have about a 22 to 23 
inch cabinet on them compared to about a 20 inch cabinet on the where the lights literally just touch the inside. Um, it does shake a good bit on high speed and it's out of balance. So even these little fans, they were out of balance. So low. This is one of my favorites in terms of my box fans. Once I get this one cleaned up, I plan on using this a good bit. I might use this in the bedroom next year or so. I like how this thing looks in the window. It looks really cool. Especially with the uh, brand sticker on the back side. Here's a bit of a fun story behind this fan. Um, but I picked this up at a thrift store. Now this was within the same week or so that I got the uh, home crest. I think I got, I don't know if I got this before or after the home crest, but um, I found both of them at the same thrift store in the same week. The home crest wasn't put out yet. It was in the back and I asked the person and he, uh, he sold it to me. I can't remember how much I paid for that one. I think it was $4. And in this one, um, it was set out on the sales floor, and they wanted like $16, $18, something like that. Like, not quite 20 but almost 20 And no matter what, I was going to buy this anyway, as long as it was under $50, because I really wanted one of these. And I brought it up to the counter, and the cashier was like, hey, the manager said, um, if you come in here and buy this fan, I'll just give you a deal on it. And I think I left the store only paying like $2 for it or something. So, there's that. So that's the story behind this fan. Um, on low speed, it's one and a, well, 1.36 amps. Um, watts is 106 and a power factor of 0 0.64, so it is, it is a shaded pull, and we are at just about one, a little over 120, so kind of where it should be. Go up to high speed. On high speed, the voltage is 2.8, 206 the watts, and a power factor of 0 0.61 and this thing really froze the air this might not be a bedroom fan it's a bit too powerful for that the low speed is really nice I would really like if this unit had a medium speed but it doesn't maybe I could use this on the first floor and the spin down on this is really good I think in the original video I was able to capture capture startup sounds, but the startup sounds weren't too good. And also, since that video, I've still yet to service this. I've had a lot of crap going on back when I was back when I made that one video, and also last year I was I had some pretty nasty issues with depression, so I wasn't really pump I wasn't really doing things as much as I as I should have been. Um, this fan's probably going to take a good bit to actually get going again. Um, I don't know how the motor looks on it. Maybe this one would be an easy, easy repair. The motor's not too dusty, which I don't think it is. I should be able to get this one going again. It looks like it is dusty. I just don't want to take apart the motor and have to deal with varnishing the windings. But here's this 20 inch Duracrest Hunter EXL box fan. Um, thank you very much for watching and keep the breeze and it'll probably be another video of this thing once I finish cleaning and servicing it.